But now, choosing whether or not to have children is one of the most personal and private decisions any couple can make. But in a new documentary called To Kid or Not To Kid, 40-something filmmaker Maxine Trump turns the camera on herself as she poses this question and even asks her mum how she would feel if she didn't have a baby. It's a really powerful mm. documentary, actually, and it does beg the question, is it ever OK to put pressure on your children into having grandchildren? I mean, I guess there really is a thing, the grandbaby blues, as it has now been coined. I mean, there are lots of people out there that are just desperate to sort of have grandchildren in their life. But is it right to put pressure on, on children to, to make that happen, Kay? Oh, God, that was a lovely little piece, wasn't it? The honesty between them was yeah. really touching. And, and the thing is, it came from a place of love with both of them. They both wanted to sort of the best for each other. Um, it's natural, isn't it? It's really natural. But you've got to try and sit on it, I guess, haven't you? I mean, like, my eldest daughter is going to leave to go to university in a few months' time. I'm not kidding you. I want to tie her to the radiator. I want to, as she goes, I will be... I want to be sort of around her ankle going, don't leave me. But I can't. I can't. I, I, you know, and so you've got to sit on it. But I feel for, for that lady. I really, really do. But you've got to try and sit on it. Mm. It's hard, really hard. Mm. And it's whether you feel you can open up the conversation to your children as a potential grandparent, you know, and it depends on the relationship within the family, I guess. But it can be a very personal conversation and question to ask, isn't it? Obviously, couples could be struggling and they don't want to share that information with the family. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all so many different sort of variable viewpoints mm -hmm. and you kind of have to tread carefully so you don't want to upset anybody, but you have to be careful what you say. You can throw away, no, you know, oh, you've bought a new house, look at all these rooms, you have to fill it with babies and, yeah. you know, these sort of things that you naturally yeah, say, but so, you, you yeah. don't not, quite know the just, effect it it's can just have. just not all right. We have children and we they come through us, not to us. They're not our mm. property. But I too found that very moving, that piece there, because I hadn't thought of it in that way, that the sadness you might feel that your child isn't going to have yeah. children. Yeah. Like I, my, I can see how much joy my parents get from me and my sisters looking after them and spoiling them and all of that. And I hadn't really thought about that. I hadn't thought about what if my children don't have that when mm. they're older. Mm. And I mean... Say we're down the line and all you guys have got grandchildren and, and I haven't. Mm. I mean, I'm going to feel really jealous and annoyed with Kay and with Jane. <laughs> and, with, oh, <laughs> and you guys are too young. But I, and I'm going to feel I'm going to feel envy and I'm going to feel all those things. But I'm never I hope I can control myself never to say it to my children mm -hmm. because I don't want to put anything on them. It's their life. You know, it is, and I think sometimes, for me personally, I never ever felt my mum, you know, when she was alive, put pressure on me to have children. She always just spoke about, you know, being stable and having somebody and so on. But I I think we put, sometimes we put pressure on ourselves. I, I always would speak to myself and would be worried that I wouldn't have children in time for my mum to see because she had me mm. at a later age. So I mm. felt like I always subconsciously had that thing of, oh, I hope oh. I settle down, I hope I have you children. You felt the pressure without a saying Yeah, it. And, oh. and, and that's not something that she pushed towards yeah. me. Yeah. It was just like, I was quite clear that my mum was sick. You and, wanted her to Yeah, and she was older, to, but yeah. I just wanted her. And I do remember when I had, when I was pregnant with my son, definitely I was like, mum, mm. I've got a boy, it's okay. You know, I've got yeah. the two of them, you can go. Mm. So that was just my it personal definitely. pressure. Oh, it does exist, that doesn't way. it? Yeah. I know. I know, there are lots of different mm. views on that.